Today I'm going to show you how to create a high key beauty portrait using window light, a continuous LED light source, and a V flat. Lindsay Adler here and to create a really clean and bright and glowing high key portrait you don't actually need a lot of gear and in fact many people prefer to use window light and one of the reasons that natural light looks so great is because it's soft and it wraps around the subject and it's really flattering on the skin so although I often shoot my beauty and portraits in the studio I'd like to show you how I can do it with window light so let's break this down first and foremost I'd like to talk about my camera gear before we move on to our lighting setup Today I'm going to be using my Canon R5 and my Canon RF 85mm 1.2. Now the reason I've chosen this setup is because I'm going to be shooting at a wider aperture. Probably going to shoot maybe 1.8, 2.2, 2.0, something like that. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to give it a kind of a soft, natural light looking feel and I want to kick the background out of focus. Now my 85 is going to be super sharp and by using the Canon R5, it's going to have the face and eye tracking to allow me to focus on her eye even if I'm at tiny, narrow depths of field. All right, so let's talk about our lighting setup. Now, first and foremost, of course, you need a window. And I recommend that you place your subject directly across from that window. What that does is gives you really flat, broad, soft lighting with minimal shadows. The idea behind this shot is that I want it to be high key, maybe a little bit ethereal looking. And so that means I want a white background. For that reason, I've placed a white V-flat behind her. This is a V-flat world V-flat. And the reason I've chosen that is because it's a collapsible smaller V-flat, which is great for storage when you're not working in a large studio. All right, so shooting with just the window light and the white V-flat gives me a clean look, but it's not as high key and glowing as I want. And that's because of two different things. First and foremost, the background doesn't appear pure white. It's a little bit gray, a little bit dark, and I want it to be completely white. In fact, I'd like it to be glowing so that it actually bounces back on my subject's hair, maybe wraps around her a little bit. And so this is where I'm going to introduce a light source into the scene other than our window. In this case, I'm adding the Flashpoint FV200. This is a continuous LED light source that can also work as a strobe. It is daylight balanced, so the color temperature is going to match with my window light. When I turn on this constant light source, it's going to light up the background, it's going to bounce it all around and give me that really clean look I'm looking for. All right, so this is getting closer to my high key look, but I still think there's a little bit too much of shadows on her face. And so this is a great opportunity to add a reflector and create a little bit of clamshell lighting. Adding a silver reflector underneath her chin is going to bounce some of that window light, even catch a little bit of the light bouncing off the background and fill in the light underneath her chin. Plus, it's going to give a little bit of sparkle to her eyes. So this is the glowing and high key look that I was going for. It's really natural and really fresh. So now it's all about getting that shot, the right expression, the right pose, and the right connection with camera. shoot beauty photography or you shoot portraiture, this is a fantastic go-to setup that allows you to get something that looks like it was shot in the studio, but you can do it with constant light and a window. Now, if you wanna see the gear used in the creation of this video, be sure to check out the links in the description below and visit adorama.com. And of course, if you've enjoyed this setup and you wanna learn more about shooting with strobes, natural light, really just anything about light and beauty at all, be sure to subscribe because I have a lot more of these videos coming your way. See you next time, guys.